Now let's draw the third component of the universal coupling that is the center block. Here it is a cylinder of diameter 30 and length 56. This is the front view with cross section view and this is the top view. So here the outer diameter is 30 and the extrusion distance is 50. It's a cylinder. So go to file and part file new. It's a part. So first of all we have to go to sketch and draw the 2D sketch that is the circle. Go to sketch and select the plane. I am choosing the front plane. Draw a circle of diameter 30 means its radius 15 mm. Ok. Exit sketch. Next we have to extrude the circle with mid plane. Okay. So instead of plane go to mid plane and give the dimension of 56 mm which is shown in the figure. The diameter 30 and extrusion distance is 56 mm. Next choose one plane which is perpendicular. First of all we have drawn the diagram in the front plane. Now choosing top plane. Sketch and press space bar go to normal to draw a circle at this center. This center. So next we have to mark the center distance. So in our diagram, it is shown that it is 18 mm. So here it is 18 mm, and this circle diameter is same 30 mm diameter. Okay. Next thing we have to extrude this with the mid plane the same 56 mm. Once we have completed this, next thing we have to cut the hole. So hole of diameter 16. So go to sketch, sketch, select the top face and press space bar, go to normal to draw on circle of diameter 16 means radius 8. Exit sketch. Now go to feature and extrude cut. Go to sketch, select sketch and select this space. Go to normal to draw a circle of radius same 8 mm. Yeah. Exit sketch. Now if you go to feature, extrude cut up to this. Let's give some fillet in the mid place. So go to fillet and select this face. I am giving the fillet radius of 2m. So the fillet value is not mentioned in the figure. So you can give either 2 to 3m in the fillet. Yeah. This is our part. Let's save this component. So this is the center block. Type the name without any space. 